Hey, why should you not build a website to promote affiliate products? I'm gonna tell you right now. Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Anthony Morrison here, and today I'm gonna to show you why you should not build an affiliate website. If you're hoping to make money online with affiliate marketing this year, you don't need a website. On this video, I'm gonna reveal what the most well, like what most people simply won't tell you, okay? How your revenue can disappear overnight and a much safer alternative to making money online, especially as an affiliate. In fact, I'm gonna show you a method that you can get started with today and have up and running much faster than building your own website. I'll show you the types of products to promote, how to make sure your account is consistently generating revenue and where you can learn more info about this type of marketing. But first, if you're new here, I wanna welcome you to my YouTube channel where I get a chance to share the best digital marketing strategies that are working in my company right now and give them to you completely free. The only thing I ask in return, uh, you know, is, is it, look, hit the like button, click the subscribe button if you love this stuff, right? It helps us out in the YouTube algorithm and it notifies you every single time we release a new video like this, right? So you always know what's working immediately. My goal is to give you enough info that it's not just an entertaining video filled with you know, theories or hacks, but actual strategies that you're gonna apply to start making money and building your business online, right? So speaking of making money online, let me tell you why I think if you're just getting started with affiliate marketing, you shouldn't put your time and focus into building a website. And let me tell you what you could do instead. Now, if all these terms sound completely foreign to you, let's take a step back and define some of this stuff. First off, what is affiliate marketing? Unlike other ways to make money online, you know, like drop shipping or Amazon FBA or starting an agency, with affiliate marketing, you don't have to create your own products or handle any customer service or shipping. You're literally just promoting products that someone else has already invented, right? And, and you're getting a commission whenever somebody makes a purchase. And the cool part is you can be an affiliate for anything, right? Let's say I want to sell a podcast mic because podcasting is becoming really popular and I know a lot of people are buying them. Instead of creating a microphone on my own, or even finding them from China and, and, and wholesaling and, and selling them, I can literally just become an affiliate for Amazon or whatever brand this is and, and, and just send people to the website using a special link and I get paid when somebody purchases. So the question is, how? How do you do this? How do you promote these products so you can consistently make money from this method? Well, a lot of people start affiliate marketing websites. Now these are websites that are loaded with content, blog articles, specifically trying to get ranked in Google and, and within articles, they lay out products that they're promoting. So let's say you wanna promote a cool air fryer, right? You'd build an entire website around reviewing air fryers, pump out a blog article every day, trying to get them to rank on Google. And then when someone types into Google, most affordable air fryers in 2021, your blog hopefully shows up, they click on it, they click through, they buy an air fryer through your link, all of that stuff. And don't get me wrong, this is a great method. And, and it is so cheap to get started, you know, and the traffic is virtually free once you get ranked, right? So I completely see why this is an appealing method if you don't have a lot of money to spend on your business. But there are a lot of problems with this method that most, most people just won't tell you about, right? And I'm gonna get into them here and share my alternative. Now, I'm not saying that you should never build an affiliate website or that they're totally useless. I just know that a lot of people watching this channel are just getting started and you've gotten a lot of questions about building affiliate websites, so I wanna give my feedback on it, right? So first, getting ranked on Google requires a ton of content. The people making the most money on their affiliate sites didn't just write one really good article and wait for it to get ranked for a really popular term. They're writing hundreds and hundreds of articles. They're pumping out new content all day long. They're writing totally fresh articles based on short and long tail keywords that they found doing research on popular search terms. Again, this is a great way to get free traffic, but you're not publishing new content every day. And if you're not, don't expect to get ranked and don't expect to get much traffic from Google, right? The goal is to write so much content that eventually you hit a few that actually get ranked. Again, a lot of the best affiliate sites out there have more than, you know, more than one person, if not an entire team of writers pumping out articles, whether they're in-house or they're freelanced from you know, Fiverr or Upwork, right? Not only that, but it's gonna take some time for Google to trust you. They call this the Google sandbox, where you might have a good piece of content, but for whatever reason, your site needs time to be trusted by Google. So don't expect even a great article to magically get ranked because it checks all the right boxes. Instead, the method I'm gonna show you at the end of this video 
allows you to focus on writing really good content and having a much higher chance of getting it seen by people who are interested in what you're offering. Now, second, repeat customers are highly unlikely. Think about it. How many times is the same person going to come to your website and buy an air fryer? Think about that, right? With these sites, the goal isn't really to build a customer database. It's to find people right before they're ready to buy something and get them to click on your link. Instead, I recommend a method where you're building a brand that fosters repeat customers. Because when you have an audience of repeat customers, you only need a fraction of the traffic that a website would need in order to make the same amount of money. Now, third, your content doesn't last forever. This is a misconception that people have about affiliate sites. They think that because they can put a blog out there, it'll stay active forever and you'll always be able to make money from it. But a lot can go wrong that people don't realize. For example, you might have a great blog article that gets outranked by a website bigger than you and steals all of your traffic. Remember, you don't own the traffic, so it's fair game. Anyone can outrank you. Also, affiliate programs frequently change. So if, if a product you're ranking for is no longer available for the commissions, uh, or maybe they, maybe they just cut the commissions in half like Amazon did, you may have just lost an entire income stream. Another factor could be the product itself. It could be just discontinued or something better comes out in the market and now you have to build a new article that hopefully performs just as well. Again, these are all not reasons to bail on affiliate sites altogether. They're just, you know, there's ways around these, right? But if you're just getting started, this method I recommend avoids a lot of these potential dangers and allows you to pivot if any of that stuff ever happens. And the last thing I'll say about affiliate sites that I don't like are the hidden cost. Look, every method to make money online eventually costs money, even the one I'm going to show you on this video, okay? And yes, listen, getting web hosting and a domain name is pretty cheap. But as you start to grow and you want, and, and you want your site to be better and you want it to be there for a long time, there are a lot of costs people don't mention, right? Keyword research software, website templates and themes ads on sites like Pinterest that help drive traffic, Ad, uh, and even an extra help writing articles, right? Which you might end up needing, right? And, and so what's the method that I personally recommend to make money as an affiliate? It may sound boring, it may sound old school, okay? But after 15 years of being in this game and trying about every other strategy out, there's really been one consistent, reliable way to generate income as an affiliate, and that's by growing an email list. So let's compare them to one of the affiliate site issues I mentioned earlier. And by the way, if you do have an affiliate site, that's great. I highly recommend adding a way to grow your email list into your site, okay? First, because writing emails goes directly to your audience, the goal is not to write 10 new emails every day for an algorithm. Instead, you get to focus on writing fewer, better emails, right? Better pieces of content that generate more sales. Next, since you have people on your list, every time you send an email, it's essentially retargeting those people. So not only do you have multiple chances to get them to buy your offer, but you can also send them additional offers that they might be interested in. And lastly, having an email list of people who support you is the best way to protect yourself against algorithm updates, or if a product goes uh, out of commission, or if the affiliate commissions no longer make sense for you to promote it. None of that matters. With your own email list of subscribers, you can pivot to another product, another place, right? Now, with that being said, creating your email list comes with its own difficulties as well. You have to make sure you're building a list in a way that isn't eating up all of the money you'd make from commissions. You know, you, you also want to make sure that you're selling the right products. For example, products that stack on each other will be more profitable than just random stuff that you find. But I'm telling you as someone who's been doing this for over 15 years, if you're doing anything online to make money, make sure you're growing your email list at the same time. I always like to say that if you don't have an email list, you don't have a business, right? Because without an email list, without an active audience base that you can reach out to whenever you want, one wrong move, one algorithm change can totally sabotage everything you built. And by the way, your email list will actually help you if you want to build an affiliate site. Think about it. Instead of waiting for Google to rank your site and consider it trustworthy, how great would it be to send hundreds or thousands of people to a new blog article that you've written uh, the day it was released because you've put the effort into building an email list? So I hope I've convinced you that, uh, you know, if you're just getting started and you're not sure what to do first, work on growing your list. But for those of you who want to get serious about your online business and you're willing to invest in yourself, I want to invite you to a program that gives you everything you need to launch your own business, uh, including an email list and step-by-step -step training. I'll not only show you how to set it up, but I'll also give you the products to promote, give you done for you emails. Uh, to use as your own and even plug you into my own personal funnel so that you can promote the exact same products I promote without really having to do any of that for yourself. There's a link right below. 
in the description to our Partner with Anthony program. And this program is second to none, right? It allows you to partner with me. It allows you to tap into my ecosystem and what I'm doing. And I'd like to share it with you. So if you're serious about your business and you want to build this type of business, click that link in the description below and check it out right now. Now, again, if you love this video and you feel like you've learned something here, smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications for me right now. Okay, make sure you don't miss any of our videos. Click the like button, leave us some comments, and of course, make sure that you're here next week and you don't miss our next video on digital marketing training. We'll see you then.